hurricane season off to a rough start. I know meteorologist Grant Gilmore is tracking barrel, but we also have our own weather concerns here, Grant, in terms of heat and humidity. It's just brutal when you walk outside this morning. It is. We're just going to continue to need to just try to take it easy as we head through the next couple of days. Let's talk about barrel here because the defying wind shear and really fighting against, you know, what would typically weaken the storm. It strengthened overnight back to a category three. Now, most recently it is weakening back down to a cat two, but a very strong category two hurricane with those wind speeds still at 110 miles per hour. Very close to landfall now. Here's Cozumel. Here's Tulum. So the center of the storm tracking just south of Cozumel. Now, if it takes a little wobble north, we may get a landfall here over the next hour or so, but it will continue generally to the west northwest at around 15 miles per hour, already bringing strong winds, heavy rainfall, and the threat for storm surge to the Yucatan this morning. It'll weaken once it moves over land later today. It'll maintain tropical storm strength as it moves into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, and then likely strengthening once again as it approaches south Texas, where it's likely to be more of a rain concern. Still some surge along the coast, but it will be a, a quite a rainmaker, potentially dropping up to a foot of rain in some places. We certainly have some tropical humidity in place across the Philadelphia area this morning. Temperatures are at 77. It feels like 78, but that's the technical number. Honestly, you step outside. It just feels kind of nasty out there. Feels like temperatures that are really going to skyrocket today up there around 100 to 104 degrees. Look at this forecast as we go through the second half of the afternoon already by one o'clock feeling like 102 103 through around four. Very similar conditions tomorrow. The one thing about tomorrow is I think we'll see a chance for some scattered showers and storms that could bring some relief, but really without a change in air mass through tomorrow afternoon. Once the rain stops, it'll just feel like a sauna out there. A couple of passing clouds across the area this morning. A few very light sprinkles into the Poconos, but back into central PA, we see a few more scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms this morning. That's what we'll have to track for later this afternoon, but honestly, we'll see that small chance of rain increase more tomorrow. The main story today will be the heat. High temperatures up around 94, feeling like 103. You see a few very stray showers and storms closer to that frontal boundary as that pushes to the north. A few more impulses as we go through the day tomorrow. That will keep a better chance for some scattered showers and storms with then more widespread thunderstorms expected through the second half of the day tomorrow as this cold front approaches from the west. Eventually the cold front will move through. It really doesn't bring us a, mu a bunch of relief but it will usher in slightly drier air for the second half of the weekend. Today, it's all about the heat, though. 93, hot, humid, few afternoon showers and thunderstorms out there. And then we'll see that better chance for showers and thunderstorms across the area tomorrow. A better day on Sunday, though still hot. And then next week, we'll see pretty much garden variety showers and storms almost every day with highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s.